This is an IBM P5 series 520 standalone DB2 database server. It has two CPUs, four gigabytes of memory, and approximately 500 gigabytes of storage in eight internal drives. Today we're going to do a performance experiment that is inspired by this IBM Almaden research paper, the case for power management in web servers. Of course, database servers are much like web servers in, it, in that they handle heavy transactional loads. In this white paper, we learn we learn that CPU consumption increases power consumption you can see that under different transactional workloads uh, the busier the CPU is the more power that's consumed by the CPU CPU is the highest power consumer in most servers with power to memory the motherboard and disks remaining relatively constant this is the console to the P5 series database server where we will be looking at Nmon to monitor CPU busy and I also want you to take note that while this server is relatively idle the power that it is consuming right now we're running at about 363 to 365 watts of power consumed when the server is idle what I'm going to do next is I'm going to start up a bunch of work on this server to emulate OLTP transactional applications and we're going to get the CPUs on this server really busy. Alright, what I want you to see now is that in this window and these other windows here we have our database very busy running some transactions running multiple SQL statements some of the statements are well tuned and others aren't so well tuned we see response time of this statement is eight and a quarter seconds and what I want you to see next is how busy the CPUs are so let's focus in on that we've got uh, very high very busy CPU activity rates here uh, some of the CPUs 99, 95, 92 98% busy that's indicated here by all the green on this chart how busy the CPUs are and with the CPUs under this full load fully saturated let's take a look at the power consumption on the power meter right now we're running around 392, 389, 390 watts so just like we learned about in the IBM research paper indeed when the CPUs are busier power consumption is higher so we can see that here with the very busy CPUs and we see that here on the power meter which is running fairly steadily between 388 and 392 watts next thing I'm going to do and you get to watch I've used I've used DBI's Brother Panther product to do some performance analysis on this SQL workload and we've determined that there is one index missing uh, that could tune this workload up quite a bit I'm gonna hit enter here and run this create index command to create the indices that are needed for this workload and right now we can see the CPUs are still very busy while that index is creating oh, we got a little bit of right IO going on there that would be uh, indicative of building some indices and in the power consumption still running 388 
385. Very busy over here. What we're going to see is some uh, measurable power consumption reduction as soon as these indexes finish creating. All right. Our create index command just completed successfully. This workload is now uh, tuned up much better than it was. We can see the CPUs are no longer pegged. We're no longer 100% CPU busy. In fact, if we look at the statistics, uh, our averages are now running uh, 10 to 12 sometimes as little as five or six percent busy there's a spike of twenty one percent busy in any event we are no longer saturating uh, the machine CPUs and let's take a look at the power consumption you can see now that we have fallen back down to the power consumption we were at originally uh, when this machine was basically idle we're now running 368 369, 370 watts instead of up around 390. This is only a two CPU machine. Uh, what we also want to notice if we can catch the numbers flying by really fast is the elapsed times of the statements are now sub-second and this is certainly what we want in our businesses our transactions and statements that are completing in a fraction of a second instead of seven to eight seconds time. That's also noteworthy that this is DB2951. Uh, the machine has about four gigabytes of memory. Automatic storage was used for the database and STMM autonomic or automatic tuning is also engaged and in use on this database. The story there is physical design and having the right indexes in place is still important even when automatic memory tuning is engaged. So ladies and gentlemen and viewers of this homemade video I want you to appreciate the value of performance tuning on your database servers as it relates to green IT and reducing energy costs in your data center. Again, as you can see, when you properly tune up your databases, you can get the same work done on a database server with much faster response times, blazing fast response times, and lower CPU utilization. And lower CPU utilization means, quite simply, lower power consumption. Thanks for watching our video. Please contact DBI at www.dbisoftware.com.